Hi. At the same time as uh, I'm making the vi the video, you know, I like to just I like to do that when I can, but it doesn't always work out too well. Sometimes I start to get, do make a mistake or something that don't make don't look too good that way, does it? <laughs> so I'm just covering my butt on that one. Okay. But you see that? Look at that. That's pretty interesting. Look over here. Look at this. Look at this area right here on on that moon crater. Look. And I'm not saying it fits all the way over there, but you can see there's some kind, the sun, same shape there. This, there's this, look, from a distance, I like to sit back, stand back. Like, if you have a smaller monitor, 20, nah, 20 inch, probably, would you have to be pretty close, I guess. The bigger the monitor you use, the better, I swear to God. I mean, I'm using a 42 inch screen, and it's, it's pretty, pretty helpful. Pretty helpful, believe me. Because I used to use a 20 inch screen, and I, I would have to wear my glasses. You know, it was difficult to see. I'd have to really... And, and then when I try to show somebody, they really made it difficult to see because they couldn't really see, you know, focus in on such small details. But it still will work with the 20 inch. You can do it if you have good eyes and you, you know, you have a 20 inch monitor. You can still do it. You'll still see it. I mean, I just, you know, my eyes aren't that great for that, so I had to get a bigger screen. And it, this is this is the reason I bought the bigger screen. I mean, this this is the reason I started to look for the bigger screen. I mean, I, I the bigger screen's nice for other things too. But I mean, it's just, that's what I that's the reason I started to look for the screen because I needed something to see. And uh, I mean, I have some more. Look, there's a the impact craters. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna get to work. I'm working on it already. I'm starting to work on it already. But here's the it's great. Look at how it goes right around the Great Salt Lake. That right there. I mean, it's it's in the right spot. You know, this crater, this is aligned, that just means this is aligned right. Okay, it means it's aligned right, because it goes up there in North America, too. Oh, we should check the North American weather while we're here. All right, put Tycho up here. Let's see, where's it? Let me just do the other ones first, probably be better, since they're close. And one of them would be that one. Yeah, you can see, I mean, you can see how it goes in the lines there. It, it'll... These ones are always up here in Canada. That was, that, that's like the never-ending storm up there. And poor people live there. <laughs> it's like the rain never stops. It's constantly green up there. Always green up there. Right along here. Always. And you see how? Look at how it fits in there. Look, look at the look at the green. Look at the green go around the craters. Look. I don't know if you. I hope you can see that. God, I hope you see, see that. Do you see here? Let me see. If I can get a little closer. Oh, then the temperature thing comes in. Look, but still. Look at the line coming right down here. And you see how this whole thing circles that crater. It looks like a heart, kind of, or something like that. And you, if you look, stand back, and, and I mean, look at these ones right here. Th those are there. Usually that's, that, that circle's filled in perfect, like a circle and it, with a big old storm in it. And there's another one right here, look. See that little one right there, right on top of it? You see how it fills all this in? Look at it. I mean, it, it's, it's still holds to the pattern up here all this it, it usually will stay right in this line it won't there will, will rarely be i mean just i don't know about other times of the year but right during this part of the season you know sometimes you'll get something that cuts through there but it not really they start right here at this line they start at that line almost always it's always almost always in that line i mean i, I have rarely seen anything outside of it and but i'm sure the weather will change but, and you can see it it's pretty, pretty crazy. St I mean, look down here at all of it, all of them. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I know that's what how I prove it. I mean, I, I can see this, and it fits in every line. It's a, it, the, the, I don't think the program's made to fit into the contours of the picture that you put down. I mean, I think the weather's supposed to be the same. All, you know, it's going to show the weather on the Earth, and it fits. Here, here's another one. This one's up here, and you can see. Look, the print that it leaves in this spot right here. Look. You won't be able to get the whole thing, but look, uh, you can look at, see this curve? See that curve with the dot in the center? Look, right there. Look at, all, look at, all, I mean, look at that. That is crazy. This is the, that arrowhead that I said goes right into the back of a, well, it's right by the Great Lakes. This is Superior's right here. So, yeah, Superior's right here. Right in this black area right here, and then Michigan's right here somewhere. You see right there, right there's Michigan, right there. And see how the lines, look, watch, watch the weather. Look how it fits in the lines right here. All of the, it, it follows these lines. These lines, it, it cuts off at the line. Look, look right here. There's a line that comes across here, a ridge or whatever you want to call it. And that, that, those clouds cut off at that line. I mean, perfect. 
within the lines, absolutely right on the line, all the time, all the time. Not always, not there's not always a lot of weather to to look at, you know, but, but all the time something fits really uh, perfectly. And, I mean, it will all if you can see under it. I mean, it it'll, it'll fit. Never does fit outside the lines that I that I can see. See that line there? Look, and these two lines here. Watch. Fills them in. Fills this area in right here. Must be some lines right there too, I would say. And this this channel right here. There's a channel that actually goes all the way from like something, a ridge or something, the mountains that comes right across here like this. See that curve? I mean, look. You, once you, that's how you know you'll have it right, is when you when that happens. Okay, that's that's what I'm trying to. I should try to say tell you. Okay, now let's get the Tyco up there. Get, get out. Get these out of here. Get the other good ones up here. Other good. Well, I mean, they're all good. Copernicus. Oh yeah, a good weather day for Copernicus today. Gotta be. Check this shit out. It's hard to see, I guess. I guess that one's hard to see unless it's, you can see like this area here, but unless it fills in like a perfect area like it did the other day, this whole triangle right here filled in perfect. But you can see how it goes. Still holds the shape. Okay, so here's another one. This is just, they, see, they hit over the same crater. Like Mare Oriental used to hit this spot, right? I just showed you two Mare Orientals in that spot that fit perfect. Both of them fit perfect. So it hits like one, two, and then these ones hit the same spots later. I mean, it gets knocked off. It, somehow it gets knocked off the Mare Oriental uh, cycle. And then it starts to, or that, that could have been a more recent cycle. I don't know. These could have been first. Who knows? I mean, no, because these ones are shaped like Mare Oriental. That's, that's what I was, my point I was trying to say. These ones shape themselves. The actual impact shape will be very similar. If you put them over the top of Mare Oriental, they will, they're all the same, uh, basically molded around Mare Oriental. It's a special crater on the moon, and it is the Mayan calendar. I mean, I, that Mayan calendar is a picture of, that, of the Mare Oriental crater. I don't care what anybody says. You look at it, do the overlay with a, a picture of the Mayan calendar and a picture of that crater that I use of Mare Oriental. And another, there's another one that looks, oh, my God, it looks like it is the Mayan calendar. It's a picture, like a drawing of it. It's a big circle. You can get it off of one of those lunar sites, and it's... You see it from a distance. You were, if you were standing back and you just looked at the screen real quick, you would, if I had it up there full, you would say that was a Mayan calendar. A picture of that crater, I mean, just a picture of the crater. You would, you would think for a second that was a Mayan calendar. Then you would, then you would notice probably that it wasn't. But it'd take you a second, guaranteed. Because I've done the overlay and I've overlaid it. I could see, I could see the little, the little figures that they have, all the little characters they have drawn in there. I could see all that. The little, the little men at the bottom that are facing each other. The man in the center with the tongue, you can see the tongue, everything. It's all there. Spikes. It just depends on the picture you use. There's different pictures of the crater, and every crater, every picture has something the other one doesn't. That's what it seems like, okay? So you got you got to, you know, be aware of that. you gotta, you got to be ready for that to come. <clears throat> so weather. We're looking for uh, Tycho now. Not that one, this one. Okay, Tycho. Oh, yeah, good day for Tycho, too. Because we can see Tyco, look at the center. See the center circle? Look, look at that. See how that is? Beautiful. Wow, it's the same shape here, okay, as, as it is when we take it, when I take Tyco over there, you can see the same shape still. So this is like the same shape as it is down there in South America, watch. It's got to be something similar, right? Because it, wait a minute, how's it go down there? I'm trying to remember how it goes like this. We're looking at it down there like like this. Oh man. Yep. So this is like Canada right here, right? Right? And yeah, that's Canada. And you remember just remember the shape like right here. Remember remember the shape. Okay, just remember that. And we'll go down there and check it out. Whoa, I just noticed something else too. Incredible. Incredible. Okay, that's how it goes. I mean, you can just roll. You, I, I'm, I'm learning things as I make the video. I really am. I'm, I, I'm learning things as I go the whole time. And, and look at the, look at how it follows the line. That's it. Just follows the same. Everything seems to fall in place. Look at the cloud in the center. It's a big solid circle. Right under ty Tycho's right underneath it. See, look at this. Look at these. Look at this little area fill in. Watch. Okay. 
and you got to figure there's other prints of other impacts too. But they, they, it's and this this right here is, sha is this right here is the same shape as Mare Oriental. If I put Mare Oriental here, it would fit over this this center part and fit right in there one way or the way that it goes. I mean the way that it hit, it would fit right in there inside of Mare Oriental. This this crater here. Okay, so what I was trying to do what was it? What was it? Oh yeah, the shape. Remember the shape. There's the channel that comes down. Watch, and the curve. Okay, that, that would be the curve of South America. Came down like this, right? Somewhere right in here. Okay, so we'll go back down to South America and check it out. Look at look at the weather. It's the same shape. I think I think it's the same same shape that with Tycho right there. Okay, Tycho's right there. You go over there, and Tycho will be right there, and this will all be the same shape. In that, in that same spot, or over here, I mean, where, where were we? Oh yeah, I gotta look at it this way. Tycho, in that spot, and then down here, it's like the same shape, you can see it. The same shape right here. It's all already tucked with Tycho right there. Tycho, well, it's a little bit that more, I guess it's a little bit higher. Oh, just updated. Okay, what I just noticed, hmm, was something pretty, pretty important. A minute ago here. Okay. I had pointed out before, in India, or over there in Indonesia, I'm sorry, Indonesia. So we need to go over there and check something. Tycho's going to fit over there too, it looks like. See, that's what, that's how we start to narrow down the impacts. That's how I start to narrow down the impacts. See, they, I, well, you can find a bunch of them all over the place in in the continents, like a few in like five in South America, about five or six, probably actually. And uh, but you know that they were, and those might those were probably all separate because they I don't see how they could be side by side like that. Those were probably all separate, or they could have been another mare oriental shaped impact. So, yeah, I'm learning right along with. Every, I'll be learning right along with everybody too. I'm still still learning myself. So, but anyways, wow, look at that. Right, Tycho hits over here in the Pacific, and we, I got that fitting along the Hawaiian Islands. And then I was go, I was heading this way. That's right, Tycho. Hmm, that's interesting. Tycho must. This is involved with Tycho too. Watch, Tycho. I will put it in here, and it'll fit right there. It's gonna fit right there. There's the lines. There's the there's the Mexico line. I think. Wait, let me see. The Mexico line goes that way, probably. We'll get it in there. Let's do it real quick. Tycho. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, I gotta get it out of here. Tycho. Okay, that's gonna go right here. I can see it already. It's, it's a repeat. It hits the same spot as Chrysium. Wow. Or pretty close to it. Pretty damn close. Here we go. Oh, boy. That's going to go somewhere in here. Like this. Where did I see that at? Oh, it's over here. It's got to go this way. I'm sorry. This has got to go over here. Like this. And I might, I might have just, might, I might be wrong on this one, but this don't look like it. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm gonna be. I think it's gonna go right there, and I think it's gonna fit. Like. Somewhere in, this, in here it's gonna fit, I know it is. Yep, that looks like it. I think it does go there. A little higher. Right. Let's see, and then I'll put the other one in to confirm it, to try to do the other one to confirm it, if I can find it. It's up here somewhere. Right here. Huh. 
Looks like they, they go together to me. That'd be Tycho right there. You see Tycho would hit right there in that spot. You can see the line that comes out this way. It, I barely, I, you can barely see the line that comes out this way. It's like, a, and then you can see the circle somewhat right here, the circle, big circle right here. It's, it's in the same spot. So it's, it, I think they go, you can see the evidence in, in each crater. That's how you do, basically how you can confirm things. You get ones that are already set in place that you're sure, pretty sure of. And see what I saw was this. I saw this part, Indonesia, right over here. Just see this, this, this area here. I saw that in this crater too. I saw it right here. I thought, like right here, coming up like this. This whole area. Let's see. It runs along that line, and you see the same something happened right here. This it looks pretty similar. And then you just work with that for a while, and and, and you look at it, and you come back later and look at it, and you, and you look, you just keep looking at it, and you find something until you find something else to add in there, and then you confirm it later. You title, try to title it. Don't be like me, because <laughs> I, I can never find anything it's all, it's all the time. I, it's, I'm pretty lucky. I get pretty lucky. I remember about how far up it is. That's about it. And then later on, I'll try to title it, but it gets out of control after a while sometimes. So anyway, there you go. There's Tycho. It looks like right there. Tycho was. This is so. This part was involved in that over there. You know, some somehow or it was hit. It hit a couple times. You know, it's. That's all part of the puzzle that still needs to be solved. But you're gonna, it's, it rolls like that. It definitely rolls like that. You get it all put together, and it, this, this over here, is, you can't deny this. To turn the weather on, it just shows you, shows you it was right. Turn the weather on. There's, you can see right there. There's, there's Tycho that hits right there, in, in North America. But then again, it almost looks like this, this point, goes up, up that way too. But you, you, you got to understand too, there's so many impacts that you could have all of these ones right and then one of them wrong will screw you all up for a while and, and if you just get it in, you know get that one set right but i'm pretty sure it was like this you can see that because all because the south america so you confirm it with that south america curve right there in in north america it's there okay you can see it if, once you get it lined up you'll see it yourself the weather confirms it the weather confirms it and this all this weather fits in here confirms it just like that you see it fit there okay that's confirmation you get it there's another impact. See that big circle there? Okay, well, I showed you. It's Look at it. The big circle is right there where, where Copernicus hits in North America, or in, in California, where I pointed out before. That's probably Copernicus right there. And I th tried to put it there. I thought I did. Maybe I tried to put it there or something. I don't know. But I'll, I'll get it set up later. And look at it right here, too. Look at this. Look at that. What did I have there? Africa? Nope, Africa's up here. I didn't have nothing down there, but something, something right there. There's no doubt that's something right there. Something happens right there. You can see that. See that. That's, I have no doubt about that. That's another one. And you can see, look in the, look in the ocean. Watch, there'll be a, there's a big round circle there. You can see it. Watch. Look at that. See that circle? It's right there. I mean, it's, you see, you can see that circle. You can see it when, on your own computer. Look at it. There's a big, there's your spiral right around that circle. And, and I know that's the earth. This is the Earth weather. You see that on the Earth, right? But you better believe that's the same thing that this is, and this is, and all these other circles that I show. Okay, up here, this other circle up here is is in a is right there. That's the Salt Lake right there, <laughs> right? That's where Tycho hits right there. Look at it, right here, and it's a circle. You can see the circular shape. It's there. So the weather patterns prove it. They confirm it, just like the overlays of the overlays confirm it. I mean, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. Just be patient, and and I, I promise you're gonna see something. You're gonna. I mean, once you get it all figured out, you're gonna see things aren't are. I mean, it's it's a fun puzzle. I, I enjoy discovering things all the time. And people might think that when I'm seeing I'm seeing things. I've had people come over and tell me that before, and I actually almost got into a fight with them. But uh, you know, the guy because only because he was trying to you know make me seem like I was stupid or something, and, and I was just trying to show him something, and he didn't. He took it the wrong way, like. And then started coming off with this scientific. I, see, I don't believe in science. Science is bullshit because when it comes to when they when some when they get it, just like that one guy, um, uh, what's his name, Wagner or whatever, the guy that's you know the Continental Drift guy. Okay, that, look at that guy had to die before they even accepted it. And plus, I mean, they didn't want to change it. They didn't want. It. They were stuck with all their you know science, and that that was difficult to do on for him. 
And I'm telling you now, it's even harder because there's so many scientists that have so much invested into the theories that are already in place. And to change that, would ha they would have to admit they were all wrong. They would all have to admit they were wrong. And I, I could go into a whole, you know, <laughs> a whole another hour of talking about it. You know what I mean? They would, they would have to pr say that we were wrong and they would have to say I was right. And, and, and they would rather just know, that, know the truth and not tell the truth. And I mean, to cover their own backs and, and not have to be, because if someone's wrong, that discredits their whole, that would discredit so many scientists' whole career about plate tectonics, all the geologic history of the earth, all of it, dinosaurs, everything, you name it, everything would change right then. And then they would all be discredited, and you might as well fire all these professors, <laughs> you know, one right after the other, because they've been preaching it all these years, and it's all wrong. So, I mean, what, would, what do you think, they, they're going to tell everybody? Hell no, they're not going to tell anybody. And then you got to think of the resources it brings to the planet, the moon hitting the earth. And I should have said all this in the beginning of the video, but it made it a little more interesting. But anyways, <clears throat> that's, you know, for you to find out. If you're, if you're willing to, to do some, a little bit of research and, and fit things together, look, we know things, something, when you think about it, you know, you know what, some things that already on your own. Like Siberia, we know something happened in Siberia. So there's a million year eruption, okay? There's like 50,000 times more lava than Hawaii. You think about that, there's all of those woolly mammoth tusks that, are, that they find in just piles of them. I mean, you know, some, they got smashed. Something happened right there, okay? I mean, something happened there. It was a million year eruption. And you can see, if you just look at, the, look at the shape, look at it you would know exactly what happened. It was not no little, it wasn't a little meteor that hit right here, I'm telling you right now, what it was. And see that most people, a lot of people will comment on my, on my videos and tell me that I'm an idiot or I'm wrong. And I will never lower myself to that, to their, to that level to where I'm name calling unless it gets to the point where I just, you know, can't take it more than I, than I will. But I, I always try to make it, make a more intelligent response to the comment than, you know, resort to grade school, you know, mentality where you're calling this guy a retard and he's calling you, you know, it's, that's, that's immature and ridiculous. If you, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, you can just type in, I don't agree at this. I think this is right or whatever. Don't, don't, don't be a kid unless you are a kid, you know, but, and if you're a kid, grow up <coughs> really seriously. You know, I, I mean, I, I can, I can take it, take as much as you can throw out as if you want to call names and all that, all that. I'll just, you know, I'll just ban you or something if it gets too bad. But I, I, it drives me. It actually drives me into. It makes me try harder to find more stuff, and I, that's what it does. So it doesn't. That's why I will never censor my com, my comment. You know, my comments because I I I'm grown up enough. I can take anything anybody can throw out. You know, it doesn't matter to me. So don't be childish. Don't act childish. If you don't agree, say you don't agree. You don't have to say I'm going to go to hell. Uh, God's going to damn my soul and I'm going to go to hell because I'm putting out this information. You don't need to say that. What do you, what do you got to say that for? Yeah, it's, it's retarded. <laughs> it is. I'm not saying you're retarded. I'm just saying it is retarded. That's retarded mentality when you get, get to that point. All right. I'll, I'd better end it there before I stick my foot in my mouth. All right. Have a good night.